It'd be nice to have somebody to ride with. <sighs> Joni's still on vacation and my brother just got back, but uh, they're too busy today. <laughs> and the weather changes starting tomorrow. Riding days will be extremely limited here because of weather. And I'll be here until mid-November. So at least I won't have to power down my batteries somewhat for storage because when I get to Texas or when I head south, I'll be able to ride again. Oh, but these brakes, I got to work on these brakes. Something just flew into my face. I almost didn't put my glasses on. Well, I didn't have my glasses on. And then uh, <laughs> something hit me in the eye and I was like, oh, it was like a gentle reminder. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Wait for the big guys. Okay, looks like we're free and clear. So we're gonna ride some back roads today. And hopefully I won't kill my brakes going down these hills. <laughs> going 13 right now 12 okay but we're fixing to go downhill so pedal assist is coming off I don't like using it when I'm going downhill definitely don't need it going downhill The Amish own the place on the left. Actually, the Amish own the place on the right, too. Um, the little Germany back there. They own a good bit of that. Okay, so yeah, we're going some grades. Oh, I don't like grades. <laughs> I do not. I will get used to it eventually. So why my brakes are squealing a lot, because I use them a lot. It's okay. not as bad as the last one I went on oh my gosh I don't believe I'll be doing that road again that was a mistake although I'm glad I did it it was an adventure but still no I won't be doing that on that road again yeah it's whichever break my right hand is is the one that's squealing the most they're both squealing some, though. Okay. And I believe right here on the left is the road I want to take. Uh, not quite yet. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. Okay, right here. Make sure there's no washouts on this road because uh, that's not fun when you hit one of those and you go down. Again, the smells of the woods, so nice. charge my battery up on, after my last ride and I may have learned how to use my secondary battery I'm still not sure I cannot find any information on it <laughs> and the website says just simply turn it on or re switch it over or something and I'm like how you know it will turn on by key 
But does that switch it over or does that just switch it over to that battery? Does it switch it over to both batteries? I do not know. This is the kind of surface you do not want to wipe out on for sure. It's a very squealy ride, sorry y'all. I saw an animal out here yesterday was with my friend Dottie in her car, and she thought it was a gopher, but it kind of looked like a weasel. And if it's a weasel, then it's a fisher cat. And they have released fisher cats into this area to take care of the possums, not the possums, the um, hedgehog, not the hedgehogs, what are those, the porcupines. And I just, I don't know. I mean, were the porcupines really that much of a problem that you had to bring in a much more vicious type of animal? Here's a little campground over here. It's a new campground. Let's go check it out. How many sites are there? There's a... Uh... Sites one through six. So what are there, like 12 sites? Let's go see. And the only an amenities this park offers as far as ex extracurricular, <laughs> can't talk, extracurricular, yeah, the only 12 sites. Activities is hiking or biking. <laughs> But it just, they just established it. From what I understand, this was an old trailer park with a lot of really old trailers. And they have removed them all. Oh, make sure I don't get a stick in my spokes. No, I'm good. <laughs> So there's 12 sites here. Eh, not bad. $30 a night from what I could gather. And I think it's stay six nights, get the seventh one, seventh one free or something like that. Eh, it's not good. Not bad. I mean, not good. I am not responsible for what I say anymore. And they said they have a cabin to rent. So I don't know if it's that building or if that's the office because there's also a sign right there that says office on the right. So I don't know. Oh, here's just leaves falling. I heard something. I thought, oh, I'll catch it on camera, but no, it's just leaves. Ooh, that looks like it goes down quite a bit down here too. I'm also going to go to the store. I bought a new paneer bag that will hold a lot more goods, but I decided not to put it on today. Okay, let's see what we hit down here. Oh, it's not too bad from what I can tell. Power assist is still off. Good. Don't need it. So we got a bridge down here. That we can check out. Ooh, that's squealing. Horrible. What is this place over here? Private drive. Okay. Somebody's home. Let's see what this is, though. Yeah, I gotta fix these brakes. They're pretty bad. Not too sure where that goes, but I think that goes back out to the road I came in on. I get off the bike a minute, park it a minute. We're gonna go look at the waters. Take my phone. Take more pictures. 
Come on, phone, phone, phone. Actually, I really like this phone mount. It was from Walmart. It was 20 bucks. But because I have the camera on the back of the phone, I can also record with it. It doesn't interfere. See, Pennsylvania is so full of these. Isn't that neat? Pack a lunch, come down. Oh, there's fish in that one. Come down and enjoy it. Yeah, see little tiny fishes. Let's go see the other side. These are super old bridges here. I imagine back in the day they were all wooden bridges. This is so neat. Look how pretty that is. Start down here. Just don't drop the phone. <laughs> that would suck. So neat. All right. That is kind of pretty going down that way. <laughs> Okie dokie, get a drink of water. They put mom on new meds and they're making her sleep. And I told her, don't take them unless you have to because it's just for itchy, itchiness. And I think she took another one anyhow. She was out of it yesterday really bad. I just don't want her to be that much out of it. I love this bike. <laughs> That bag's not uh, that bag's not bad either. The Kemimoto. It's a cool bag. A trunk bag. Oh, I didn't turn on my blinkies. I should have turned on all my blinkies. This is so awesome. Come ride with me, y'all. Somebody come ride with me. <laughs> so we can explore together. If Joni were here, she would. Or she's on vacation and then is back to work with her after that. So there you go. Okay, to get on the brake. Or I can only get on this bike if I swing my leg over. I cannot use the step through. It's hard for me because it's still a little too high. So I hold the brake. And then I... Uh, I'm on zero, aren't I? Yeah. And then I uh, get on. <laughs> Hold the brake so that the bike doesn't move or fall or anything. Okay, let's go. See what's ahead. But we're pretty close to the freeway. And I like to pedal as much as I can. Because exercise is good. Used to ride my mountain bike about 16 miles a day. Then when I moved to my current address, my real address, all the riding kind of stopped because there's just no real place to ride to. There's too much road and there's no shoulder. 
Sorry, I'd have to take it on a bike path somewhere. You know, not everybody has a need for speed. We just want to enjoy the ride. Yeah, it's Amish. Amish lady out there tending to her, her duties, her chores. Not using my torque, just using power pedal assist. Not Amish on the left up here <laughs> I'm not sure if it's even a junkyard or what it is ooh, ooh, ooh. let's just hope there's no junkyard dog I love dogs but not when they're running after you oh yeah some trashed up race cars Okay. One thing you do have to be aware of, these people that live back here are used to these roads, so they will just plow right on through. So you have to watch out for that. This looks like Okay, that's not bad. Surface changes. I could probably turn off the pedal assist. Oh, it smells so nice. This runs right alongside the freeway. Yeah, when I get back to Texas, I'm not gonna have this luxury of just jumping on back roads. Not where I live. I live too close to the cities. Actually, I live in a small city that's near a bigger city, which is near the big city of Houston. Oh, let's just use the torque to get me going on these stones. I left the shoulder, the shoulder pads, the elbow pads at home, so I definitely don't want to crash. Use pedal assist, there we go. No idea where I am. <laughs> Okay, I've passed this house before. In the van. And I'm kind of, the other perk of I have in the bike is, it's really dusty back here. So I'm not kicking up a lot of dust with the bike. And with the van, oh my gosh, it can get incredibly dusty. And uh, I actually clogged my PCV valve the last time I brought it back here in these kind of dry, dusty conditions. Look at that massive old barn. Oh, this is so beautiful. What a nice ride. Oh, I should have looked at the mileage when I started, and I didn't. I think I had about 38. <laughs> oh, 
I'm still only on power assist one. I'm still pedaling. <sighs> Lots of corn. I think it's about done though. Okay, let's see what this is. That's somebody's driveway. I got an itch. <laughs> Okay, oh, so nice out here. Wow, too bad you can hear the freeway. Let's see what my mileage is. Okay, I've got 41.8. So I probably did have 38. I've only ridden a couple miles. I'll be curious where all this leads out. I'm pretty sure I know. Pretty sure if I take a right, that I'll be back on Twin Church Road. Oh, that's kind of eerie. I can stop a second. Can you hear that? The wind rustling through the corn. Yeah, all that corn's been harvested. If it had, well, no, some of it's still there, but it's no good now. Maybe they saved that for Indian corn. Probably. Corn was in harvest late this year. Those over there are probably still good on the right. Of course, that would be stealing if I went up and took a couple of ears. I'm not going to do that. Okay, if I go straight, it looks like I just hit that farm back there. So I'll have to turn right anyhow. Or I could turn left, but I don't know where left takes me. Huh. Oh, maybe that takes me down to Crybaby Cemetery. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna stop a second and decide what I wanna do. Come up here and take a look-see first. Let's go. Oh, this is Piney Lane that I'm on. And yes, that is a dead end into that farm. Way on the... <laughs> Way on. Let's go down this way. Let's take a left. A lefty loo. But not on the turn, because I stopped moving. I don't want to spit a rock and then all of a sudden lose control. Okay, now we can go. Blind curve. I don't like them. Okay. It's not that I don't like it. I just make sure nobody's coming around it. Okay, we're good. Whoa, going too slow. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but there's a cool formation in the sky. Yeah, I'm bouncing. And that's with a, I think I'm at 24 on the front. Yeah, I'm sliding. Okay, let's move a little faster then. I think I'm sliding because I'm going too slow. Let's see what's up front here.
old log cabin on the left up there. Now, I don't think I've been back here. So this is kind of cool. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. I'm only on pedal assist one. And then I got to turn it off. Okay, do I... How far do I want to keep going? That's kind of a steep hill there. I don't really know where I'm at. <sighs> okay, let's... Uh, I think I have the battery. I have enough battery to get up. Let's turn the power assist off. <sighs> Old homestead over here. Ain't no bull about it, man. <laughs> no bull. <laughs> okay, that's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> so I don't think. Just keep my fingers on the brakes. Not literally. On the brake pedals. <laughs> Whoa, ouch. Oh, skunk. <laughs> okay, I'm not, I don't know what this takes me out to. We'll find out. It goes a little chipmunk. <laughs> Chipmunks are funny. If I'm not mistaken, I think we're in Monroe. Let's go up here. And see where I'm at. Yeah, I think this is the road to Monroe. And I think if I were to take a left, then I could catch another side road. But we're not done exploring that back road and the store I need to go to is on that side of the world. <laughs> so, here we go. I'm gonna backtrack. Look at the red leaves over here. Oop. Do I have turn off the pedal assist? Gonna be going downhill. And then we'll backtrack and use that other road. That just goes into somebody's property. You know, you really can't even go camping back here because most of this land is posted. That's okay. There's ticks anyhow. <laughs> Okay. 
me see. Piney, this was where? Oh yeah, that's dead end. That's a little farm there. And we came off that other road on the right. I've said it before, I think. And uh, one thing, is that an eagle? Oh, I can't tell. It might be an eagle. No, they're vultures. Oh, stop for stupid vultures. I break for vultures. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, let's get going again. As I was saying, do not eat a big meal. If you're gonna go ride, that's how I got sick that time. Your food needs to be digested. And I didn't realize that. Man, did I get sick. It didn't last long, but man, it hits hard. Hard and fast, it takes you right down. Triangle Road. Okay, that's what I'm on. Turn off the power assist. Oh. oh, goodness. Okay. Thank goodness there's no traffic. Okay. Grasshopper on the road. A little grasshopper. Okay, we're going to start. Oh, there goes a deer. You see them? Yeah, a couple of deer. On the left. Hit the camera on my phone. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Yeah, oh dear, there's some deer. Get the foot, oh geez. I don't know why I'm having such trouble with my left foot hitting the pedal correctly. Okay. And this will be, my throat's getting dry again. Let's just get to where I'm going. Baby cemetery. Okay, let's check it out then. <laughs> <laughs> 